I got a question from a viewer asking me how I work with high pass and low pass filters. So I thought we'd take a look at a session here and then I will show you a way to, to uh, kind of decide where to actually put the high pass and low pass filter. So uh, let's go. So here's a session from a tour. So let's just have a look and uh, let's start with the kick drum. And uh, in this case, uh, the high pass filter is at 37 and this is really venue dependent. And then we have the, the low pass at uh, 8K. So let's move on to the snare drum. And here we have the, the high pass filter at 170. And actually I don't use the, the low pass in, in this case. Here's the hi-hat and uh, in this case, uh, the, the high pass is actually up at 1K and that's, higher than I usually uh, go, but for this particular artist, uh, I just I just wanted the, the really crisp hi-hat sound. That's why I removed uh, everything b below uh, 1K. So toms, uh, we have three toms in this case. So tom one at 180, next at 90 and next at 82. So kind of getting more and more bottom end, uh, the bigger the, the drum gets. So let's move on to the bass and here we have uh, high pass at uh, 42 and uh, low pass at uh, yeah four four and a half k uh, around there and uh, guitars uh, around 70 80 uh, the piano uh, or keyboard in this case uh, right down at 50 and uh, Let's have a look at some vocals as well. So the lead vocal, uh, I have a steep filter at 150 and uh, also uh, the, the, the high cut or low pass, whatever you, you want to call it, at uh, 12k. Moving on to the backing vocals, here I have the high pass at uh, just uh, over 200 and low pass at around 12k. So yeah, uh, this is where I end up most of the time. And if you are unsure of where to place these filters, I have a trick to, to kind of guide you. Uh, and uh, this will not work in a, in, a, in a live sound check. So this trick is for virtual sound check or in the studio. So let's have a look at the kick drum. Let's uh, turn all of the inserts off and then just place a... Uh, an EQ, let's go for this one. All right, so where to place the low pass filter on a kick drum? Well, let's take the high pass filter and make it really steep and then move it all, all, all the way up. And then we just have a listen to the kick, uh, slide this down. And when we hear something that we actually want to use in the signal, that's where we will place uh, the low pass filter. So let's have a listen. So right around five or six K, uh, we, we we actually get the the, the high end uh, snap. So the low pass filter will end up uh, at around 5 or 6k and for the high pass filter let's just do it uh, the other way around And you actually need to have some some good uh, headphones or or speakers to to hear all of this. But around 30, 30 35, I would say is a good place to to have the the high pass filter. So then we just move this to yeah around five or six k or so, and this one to uh, well let's say thirty five. Uh, 
And that's one way of finding out where to place these filters because uh, what they are really doing is removing all of the stuff that we don't want in the signal. So uh, actually let's have a listen at the vocals as well and do the exact same thing. So let's turn off everything but this EQ and uh, let's start with the, the low pass. So right around 11, 12k uh, is the kind of top end of, of the S's uh, in, in the vocal. So the low pass will end up yeah, at around uh, 12k. So let's move this down and this one, uh, let's find a place for the uh, high pass. I'm gonna try to So right around 180 or so uh, is the kind of uh, really low end in, in the voice. So we, we really want to remove everything below that. So uh, this one, uh, if memory serves me, was around 11 or 12k. And this one at uh, 180 or so. Uh, and then most of the time I don't use as steep of a filter as this one. So probably use uh, eight, 18 or 12 dBs uh, product uh, instead. So let's just make these a bit gentler. Right, so that's a quick way of working with high pass and low pass filter. Take care.